Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you why you need to exercise special care when you use a formula to attempt to create a calculated item inside an Excel pivot table. Calculated items can be useful in certain circumstances. However, it's far too easy to create a pivot table with a calculated item that produces incorrect results. Let me show you how that can happen. We start out with a simple data set. We have four territories, north, south, east, and west, and 12 months of sales within each territory. We're going to create a pivot table. Let's go to data pivot table and we will take all of the defaults. So over here in a new worksheet we're going to create a pivot table. We're going to take the territory and drop it into the column area. We're going to take the month and drop it into the row and we'll drop the sales into the data area. We have our basic shell of a pivot table. Let's first off enlarge this just so we have more room to work with. Now we take this into the boss and the boss says that's really great but what I really want to see is I want to see a quarterly summary in other words take January February and March and create a first quarter summary April May and June and a total for the second quarter the incorrect way to approach this is to create a calculated item and let me show you the danger before we proceed write this number down the total for the East Territory is $631,425. Now, let's begin to create a calculated item. A calculated item will be created using the values in an existing field. In this case, we'll use the values in the month field to create first quarter. Let's start by selecting from the down drop-down arrow, Formulas, calculated item not calculated field for this lesson calculated item we are creating it from the values in the month field what we want to do is create a new item in the month field called Q1 first quarter and that formula will be equals let's select January plus February plus March click add click OK. Now before I click OK, remember this number 631425. Watch the danger when we add that calculated item. You see we have an incorrect result. We have a new calculated item in there called Q1, but it's actually doubled the numbers that we had here. So our number for the East Territory, as you can see over here, uh, $172,998 has been added in there twice so a calculated item is not the right way to go now I'll also show you how to get rid of this Q1 we can't get rid of it by clicking here on the row and saying delete that's not how we get rid of items in an Excel pivot table what we'll have to do is come back to the formulas menu calculated item select Q1 and say delete click OK and now we have the correct item so the proper way in this case to get a first quarter second quarter third quarter summary I demonstrated in the last lesson and that is by grouping the information so in the previous lesson I showed you how to highlight the values that we wanted to group and then we go down and select group and show titles group I'm not going to do that right now so review the previous lesson and see how easy it is to produce quarterly summaries using group rather than attempting to create a pivot table with a calculated item I'll see you in the next tips and time savers